Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be working more on the car application. Now if you don't know what this is, you may want to move back to the beginning of this series. Now I may not be at the right spot that we, that we were in the last tutorial because I've had to record this several times and each time I just keep messing up and I've had to do it a whole bunch and I keep having to undo the code and hopefully I'm back where I was. So um, this if statement right here that we added it is not necessary we can just go ahead and set the vehicle type to the selected item of add new car hold on ah, we only want this if, if statement gone okay so now what we can do is let's go ahead and create the new car one up here So, dim new car one. So now that we've created a new car one, we haven't set it equal to anything. Um, what we want to do is create a, create another if statement. So, if they want to create a new car, we'll do uh, if combo car types dot selected index is equal to zero then new car one is going to be equal to a new all cars dot car so it's just going to create a car object and so else if so else if combo car types dot selected index equals one then we'll go ahead and create a truck object so new car one equals new all cars dot truck car and then else if one more time for the sports car so else if combo car types dot selected index equals two then we'll go ahead and type new car one equals new all cars dot sports car. So now what we can do is we can just take this out right here and let's see. So using new car one, what we're going to do is set the values, then after it's done using, it's going to end the uh, it's going to get rid of new car one. So if we come over here to new car dot vb, uh, I added this vehicle type right here, and whenever it loads, it's going to set the name of the vehicle type, color of vehicle type, which is um, the selected item in the combo box, so that the it um, just works with that car they selected. Now I can't remember if I said that in the last tutorial, but I thought that I'd point that out, uh, anyways. And then we've got this combo box right here that lets them select uh, the car. In the collections, it has car, truck, and sports car. So index 0, index 1, and index 2. So let's go ahead and run this, and hopefully it'll work. So we'll select a truck. We'll click new car, and it's not showing up. So let's see what the problem is. Aha, here we go. We got name of truck. So we'll just set it to Toyota Tundra. We'll make it white. Well, I'll give it two doors. Set the horsepower to 300. We'll go ahead and click Add. And you can see here we have our Toyota, Toyota Tundra. Now, it did open a new um, uh, instance of new car that we did not want. So let's go ahead. We need to take this out right here. That's why it was showing up. So now we only have one show dialog. And it's going to show uh, what we wanted it to. So let's come over here and just change things a little bit. So let's uh, set the um, selected item of this by uh, index 0 at default. So we'll go through the properties. And what we need to do is come over here to form 1. And whenever the form loads, let's just go ahead 
and set the selected um, item in that. So combo car types dot selected index is going to be equal to zero at the beginning. So if they create car, um, it's going to go ahead and uh, automatically create a car for them. Now, if we didn't set this index, we'd have to have an error handler handler that said that would stop them if they didn't create a they didn't select which kind of car they wanted to create. So now we can use the get power to weight ratio. So we can convert the car at list cars dot selected index. So this can be a sports car or a truck, and we're going to get the power to weight ratio. So let's go ahead and run this and we'll create a new sports car. So we've got the name of sports car. Let's just do um, a Corvette. Color is red. We'll give it two doors. Set the horsepower to 200. Now, you can have it automatically set the number of doors based on what kind of car they type so that when they open up this form, it's already at two for them. I'm going to leave that to you guys to figure out. So if you go ahead and click add, we've got Corvette, we can get the power to weight ratio, and it says infinity. And that is because we didn't set the weight of the car. So let's just go ahead and add a default right here. So we'll set the value of the weight to a to 1000. So dot. So we'll come up here to truck car, and new car one. Dot weight. Or let's see. So it looks like we're going to have to be using a lot of logic to uh, set in the weight of the car and add a lot more code. So let's just go ahead and do that in the constructor of all cars. So we'll go to sports car, sub new, and we will set the weight equal to 1,000 pounds to start off with. Because if not, we would have to completely recode this right here. And you guys can do that if you want to to see what you can do with it. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to leave it the way it is. So we'll go ahead and run this. We'll create a new sports car. We'll set the name of it to Corvette. We'll give it, uh, we'll say that it's green. Give it two doors and set the horsepower to 300. Click add. We can get the power to weight ratio. and we didn't select an index there. So let's try this one more time. Uh, we'll select sports car, new car, just add some stuff in here. Uh, we'll make it 300 horsepower, click add. Now we have to actually select that. Then when we get the power to weight ratio, we get 0 0.3, which can only be done with sports cars and not with uh, cars or trucks. Now if we create trucks, we can access stuff that only trucks can have, uh, and uh, so on and so forth. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next tutorial.